Welcome back from the break, Rams. I'm sports anchor Carly Schwarzkopf, and alongside me is sports anchor Molly Baltzer. We have the latest information from the world of Ram sports. The CSU men's basketball bench might look a little different next year as the team is losing two key assistant coaches. Ross Hodge, who has been an assistant coach for the Rams for five years now, will be taking an associate head coaching position at Arkansas. The Colorado State Associate Head Coach Leonard Perry is also leaving the program for a position at Pacific University, according to multiple sources. Ross Hodge has been with the Rams' leading recruiter for over four seasons and has scored CSU star players such as Stan Kidd, J.J. Avila, and Emmanuel Magbo. Hodge was also named on ESPN's list of top recruiters outside the Power 5 conference and is arguably one of the best junior college recruiters in the country. Also during Hodge's time at CSU, he helped the team to an NCAA tournament berth and a berth in last year's NIT. Before Hodge's time at CSU, he was head coach at Midland, where he advanced his team to the NJCAA championship game and was named NJCAA Region Coach of the Year. Prior to Midland, Hodge was head coach for three years at Paris Junior College in Texas, and between 2003 and 2005, Hodge acted as an assistant head coach at Texas A&M Commerce, where he helped the Lions to a spot at the NCAA Division II Sweet 16. So what does this mean for the Rams? Head coach Larry Eustachie and what's left of his staff will have to find another assistant coach and recruiter, hopefully before National Signing Day on April 13th. Here are some of the tweets from current CSU players who express their feelings via Twitter on the breaking news that happened earlier this morning. Carly, Jan just tweeted this this morning, and it doesn't look too good. Those look like crying slash upset faces. Yeah, those aren't some good emojis. You can tell he's definitely upset. Prentice also expressed his feelings with a not-so-friendly finger there, and nope. saying, you know, tell me about it. I'm not, I'm not pumped about this news. <laughs> he's not pumped at all, according to that tweet. Mm -mm. And lastly, Jeremiah Page, it's going to be a long day. And it was. You know, I saw these boys in their fueling station this morning after their meeting, and they did not look pleased. They weren't. That None of those tweets were happy. No. Well, as Carly mentioned before, the Rams are also losing associate head coach Leonard Perry. Perry accepted a head coaching position at Pacific University earlier this morning. Perry has spent the last four years at Colorado State, was CSU's leading high school recruiter, and was a huge part in recruiting Chicago area standouts such as David Cohen and Prentice Nixon. Perry was also a part of the Rams team when they made their NCAA and NIT appearance. Perry has spent nearly half of his coaching career with CSU head coach Larry Eustachy, including joining him at Utah State, Iowa State, Southern Mississippi, and finally Colorado State. Perry also played for Eustachy for three seasons at Idaho before accepting an assistant position. Perry moved into the professional world of coaching in 2006 and 2007, where he was an assistant coach for the Indiana Pacers. He later accepted the position as team's advanced scout, and for the final four years of Perry's journey with the Pacers, he was in charge of the organization's NBA Developmental League Pro Scouting. For more information on the two coaches, you can visit thecollegian.com and click on the Sports tab. I guess we will just have to see where the CSU men's basketball goes after these drastic changes. But in other Ram sports news, the men's rugby team took on the CU Buffs this past Saturday. The main goal for any CSU versus CU event is for one team to dominate the other. But for the Colorado State rugby team, a community and brotherhood is what is important. Yeah, I mean, rugby has been like my whole life in college. It's kind of weird to say, but uh, I hang out with these guys like 24-7. It's like this brotherhood that we've built over the past few years and lifelong friends. And, you know, I'm excited to see what the future holds. We really stress brotherhood and camaraderie, and we make sure that everyone's encouraged and no one's down on each other because that's the biggest part. It's how you get out of games, start yelling at each other. This bond the team shares is what some will soon leave behind. But for many, the last home game was one to remember. Yeah, it felt great. You know, home game, uh, see you coming to our house. Um, no better feeling, really. Uh, it's going to be my last home game, my last CU game. So, yeah, no, nah, sweet way to go out, definitely. It was clear the team was having fun on the home field, but the hard work and preparation the Rams put in showed when the final score against the Buffs was 62-5. to five. I felt great. I was just really happy to see us put together everything we could, uh, play the way we know we can play, and just I think teams in front of us should watch out. Ram Rugby is split into two teams, A-side and B-side. 
A side continues to beat the Buffs on home field each time they match up, taking home the W. But the win isn't the only thing the players appreciate about the sport. Rugby's really motivated me and driven me to be a better overall person. I mean, I have a schedule to show up to practice and work hard, and it just translates to the classroom. So without rugby, I really don't know where I'd be. Next, the CSU rugby team will play in the Heart of America tournament in Kansas this coming weekend. You know, Molly, this sport is aggressive. It's like football, but with less rules. They really can just push each other around. Yeah, less rules and less padding. And actually, at this game, an ambulance had to accompany one of the CU players because he was hit so hard. Yep, got a concussion. Not fun. Not good. But in lighter news, coming up after the break, entertainment news with Emma Iannacone. Emma recently visited the Fort Collins escape room and learned about the activities that take place there. CTV will be right back. 